Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with our magnetism and matter chapter. In that, in last video, you would have understood that uh, it's a very small, now it became, this year it became a very small chapter including very less number of topics. Right? So, uh, the theory portions alone while we are considering, it's a very small chapter. So last video it was a just introduction most of you will be knowing that very thoroughly uh, and though if you have any doubt you can just go through that portion also it's a just an introductory part. Now coming to the other portions that is our uh, deep and into our uh, 12th portions while we are considering this magnetic dipole. Next we are going to consider what is meant by magnetic dipole. In uh, in the previous videos we uh, did for our um, el the electric dipole. What was an electric dipole? Two equal and opposite charges separated by a distance. That is electric dipole. In the case of magnetic dipole, when I am considering a magnetic dipole, what will be see dipole two poles are there <clears throat> then that is one e this uh, north pole north pole or north pole south pole or south pole south pole like that two poles so here we are considering two unlike poles unlike poles separated by a distance separated by a distance is called a magnetic dipole that is for a magnet in between both the magnets we can consider a magnetic dipole okay two one south pole south pole of one magnet and north pole of another magnet are separated by a distance that also we can consider it as a magnetic dipole so two unlike poles separated by distance that is called a magnetic dipole you can compare always this magnetism with your electricity okay electrostatics which we learned uh, uh, this is magnetostatics uh, and uh, electrostatic that comparison uh, you can do okay so this is magnetic dipole so what will be magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment is the strength of one end of the pole or this two unlike poles of equal magnetic see magnetism should be equal well we are considering this two unlike poles two equal unlike poles we should consider equal unlike poles means equal amount of magnetization magnetization m value should be equal over there okay magnetic pole strength magnetic pole strength should be equal and unlike poles separated by a distance here magnetic dipole moment so here i am considering one pole having magnetic moment m and another pole having magnetic moment m separated by a distance 2l then the magnetic dipole moment is capital m equals one of the magnetic uh, magnetic strength strength of one side into distance between them Okay, so in last class we learned about the magnetized uh, the strength of pole strength. Okay, ampere meter f is equal to f is proportional to m1 m2 by r square. Each m1 and m2 are representing the magnetic moments, right? So this magnetic dipole moment equals m into 2l. What will be its unit? Its unit will be ampere meter square because small m is ampere meter so magnetic dipole moment is ampere meter square clear so what is dipole moment m into 2l okay that is magnetic dipole moment clear now we are going to consider see a circular loop current is carrying through a uh, circular loop when current is flowing through a circular loop we can consider it as a magnetic dipole current is flow see you can imagine a circular loop like this okay uh, uh, circular a plane including the circular loop so here i will draw <coughs> a plane including circular loop so here it is current is flowing like this so if i have a magnetic dipole uh, this current loop like this current is flowing when i am seeing like this from the top surface when i am seeing the current is moving in the anti-clockwise direction if it is anti-clockwise direction means top surface will be of north pole so 
so the same thing if i am looking at the from the down part okay from the down part when i am looking at so when i am turning it upside down and then looking at that other side means we will feel it is clockwise direction so bottom surface from the bottom surface when we are observing it will be a south pole so the plane of the coil plane of the circular coil will be acting as a magnetic dipole okay so that the magnetic uh, uh, so magnetic moment their magnetic moment will be directly proportional to the current flowing through the conductor and will be directly proportional to area of the circular loop clear so magnetic dipole moment will be or magnetic moment or uh, dipole moment is directly proportional to the current flowing through the coil and is proportional to the area of the coil clear so you can take a circular ring like this and can see whether it is moving in a circular path okay so when we are observing from here we will at the bottom we will be feeling it is moving in sorry moving in the clockwise direction if the top surface it will be anti clockwise direction so both the sides when we are considering it will be north and south pole separated by a small distance so their magnetic dipole moment will be there that is directly proportional to i into a if there are same way if it has more number of turns n number of turns are there then we can write it as m is equal to n into i a that is uh, a proportionality constant okay so ampere meter square will be the unit here also we are getting the same unit for a circular loop m is equal to n i a clear magnetic dipole moment m is equal to n i a clear so this ma the bar magnet we can be considered uh, as equivalent to a uh, solenoid okay so ma uh, in the in last year and all ma uh, the magnetic moment at the axial line of the uh, bar magnet and equatorial line of the bar, bar magnet that and all derivations were, was there but this year it's not that instead of that they told we should prove uh, this magnet bar magnet as equivalent to a solenoid a solenoid is equivalent to a bar magnet so there we will be deriving one equation for b b is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi b equals mu 0 by 4 pi into 2m by r cube like that we will get one equation okay so there we can uh, prove that both are equivalent like that we will be proving so this equation you should buy hard b equals mu 0 by 4 pi into 2m by r cube clear next we are going to consider about gauss law in magnetism <coughs> already we learned about gauss law in electrostatics Right, here we are going to consider Gauss law in magnetism. In electrostatic, closed integral E dot dl will be equal to Q by epsilon 0, 1 by epsilon 0 times the charge enclosed. But here in magnetism, when we are explaining Gauss law, the net magnetic flux, the net magnetic flux over a closed loop, over a closed loop is equal to zero okay net magnetic flux over a closed loop is equal to zero that is closed integral b dot dl is equal to zero this is the representation so magnetic flux over a closed loop is equal to zero this is called as gauss law in magnetism okay the next is next we are going to consider about the different magnetic elements of earth we know earth is having magnetic property its magnetic property is due to the magnetic materials inside the earth and the movement of the particles movement of lava uh, ions will be present so charges are present because of that we will be getting a magnetism magnetic property is there for the earth okay we have we know earth is having a north pole and south pole and earth is having a magnetic property so earth itself behaves like a magnet so it will be having one geometrical axis sorry geographical axis and the magnetic axis it will be okay so if i am considering the north south pole this is the north south pole of a magnet if i'm uh, if the earth's magnet and geographic north and south pole is acting like this 
there will always be a tilt between these two uh, geographic axis and the magnetic axis so what is this magnetic axis the straight line which is passing through the uh, this north south pole this is magnetic axis so this is the magnetic axis and this one is the geographic axis in place to place this geographic the angle between the geographic axis and magnetic axis will be changing so this angle between these two this is called as declination magnetic declination okay the angle between the geographic axis and magnetic axis this is called a magnetic declination then or we can say if i am considering a plane through this a vertical plane i am considering through the magnetic axis or if i am considering a vertical plane through the geographic axis see here instead of this i am consider if you are keeping one paper here it will be magnetic meridian we will say and here if i am keeping one paper straight downwards then there will be an angle between these two right so that angle we can call it as uh, this magnetic declination in that way also you can explain okay so geographic meridian if i am considering the plane we will say it is geographic meridian and magnetic meridian if we are considering the axis it will be geographic axis and magnetic axis okay so anyway that angle is called as uh, this declination then next is magnetic inclination so if i am considering a horizontal see uh, what will be the direction of earth's net effect of the magnetic field is acting like this okay i am representing it as r net effect of the magnetic field and if i am considering a straight line through the magnetic axis horizontal line if i am considering through the magnetic axis and this is the net resultant effect of the magnetic field of earth okay then the angle between these two this is represented as dip or inclination okay so if i am considering th that is one of the magnetic element earth's magnetic element and dip is another one a horizontal axis when i am considering for the magnetic meridian and the resultant of the earth's magnetic field okay so these two the angle between these two are called as magnetic uh, inclination or dip next we will say it as horizontal component of earth's magnetic field i told you, you uh, we will be getting a magnetic field like this right net effect of magnetic field will be through this angle then this r will will be having a horizontal axis and vertical axis right so if this angle is theta then we can write this as cos theta r cos theta and this is r sin theta or i can say if this is delta i can write it as r cos delta and this is r sin delta which is the horizontal component r cos delta is the horizontal component okay clear so this is what about the horiz these three are the magnetic element earth's magnetic elements okay declination dip or inclination and horizontal component of earth's magnetic field so next we are going to consider some of the terms related to this magnetization okay so magnetism related to that m represents magnetization magnetization okay h intensity of magnetic field intensity of magnetic field b total magnetic field chi is magnetic susceptibility this is chi as magnetic susceptibility susceptibility okay so these terms you should be thorough and the relation between these these terms okay here b equals mu b0 equals mu0 into h this is in the free space when we are considering b0 equals mu0 into h or in terms of b what will be b mu0 into h plus m okay here magnetic susceptibility is the property to understand how much uh, magnetism will be or magnetic properties will be there for a material okay suppose if i am considering an alnico or uh, if i am considering iron 
So what will be, how much magnetic property will be there for that material? To understand that, we will be using magnetic susceptibility. Okay, so these are the equation B0 equals mu0 into H or uh, this M is equal to net magnetic moment by volume. That is magnetization. Okay, net magnetic moment per uh, volume is, unit volume is magnetization, H is intensity of magnetic field and B is the total magnetic field acting and B equals mu0 into H plus M and M equals chi into H, that formula also there. Okay, these some of these formulas you should buy heart. Okay, so uh, that's all children from this chapter. So in next class we will be discussing some more numericals related to this. Okay, clear? So I hope it is clear for you and if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.